Hey everybody, happy Friday. Here we are again, it's Friday. And if you can't tell, I'm wearing my Astro shirt today. It's day one of the World Series. Very excited about that. So I had to represent today during Facebook Live. All right, let me pull you guys up, make sure I'm in the right place. Hello, hello. Good to see you guys. All right, let's make sure the volume is down. I am so excited about today's projects. Something looks weird on my phone. Hopefully I'm not sideways. Okay, I'm not. You never know. Have you guys had a good week? It's been um, a good week here. We um, survived without my husband. He comes home tomorrow. Um, looking forward to that. No major disasters other than the flu. <laughs> my youngest had the flu, so that's, you know, not fun. But other than that, we had a good week. Um, so this week's Facebook Friday, if I can find it, features a bundle called, why is it all the way in the back of the table? Why? <laughs> you know, and I dropped something back there. Hmm. Anyway, a warm welcome. This bundle is not in any catalog yet. It is a sneak peek from the spring catalog that comes out in January. Um, it's an early release. Stampin' Up! used it in um, the beginning of October for car, World Card Making Day, and today we're going to use it. I love this step, uh, stamp set and dies. It is um, a Million Dollar Achievers stamp set. It's not mine. You, I had lots of you asking me. It's Jenny Polly from Germany, I believe. And I will say it's probably in my top five. I've seen most of what's coming in that catalog and top five favorite from that catalog. So that's what we're doing today. Okay, I see you guys. Hello, hello, hello. Good to see you. Um, I got a couple of things in the mail and Sandy sent me, and unfortunately it's a little bit, it came squished, but it's still awesome. She sent me this little box, <laughs> close it, little box, and you will never guess what was inside. I almost cried. Um, the markers for the Simply Scored, you know, the little things that go at the top to, you know, you can move around to whatever, say, when I'm doing a lot of scoring, I'll set those up so that I don't have to remember the numbers. I can just, ch -ch -ch -ch. and Stampin' Up! discontinued them years ago. Well, they fall out, you lose them, and then they're gone. And I have been desperately wanting some more. And so Sandy found some in her stash, I guess, and sent them to me. So Sandy, thank you very much. Um, she sent me a sweet card too. Um, I think I took the note out of it. Let me see what I have here. See, I take the notes out of things and then I forget who's who's who. Let's see. I know this is from Donna. Okay, I may come back. I may come back to Sandy's card. I think that's hers, but I took the note out of it, so I'm not sure. <laughs> um, Donna, this is so cute. Super cute. Looks like spring, doesn't it? Um, I especially like that stamping back there. Look at my hand, it's very inky. Thanks, Donna. Um, and this is so cute. Little Halloween card from Kathy, I believe. Yes, Kathy. Very cute. I have n I never, well, I'm done with Halloween projects and I didn't use that paper at all. What's wrong with me? But that's really cute right there. I don't think that's ours. I would know if that's ours. Maybe a long time ago. That's so cute. Very cute. Thanks, Kathy. So yeah, this must be the card from Sandy, right, Sandy? Paper pumpkin. Beautiful card. Very beautiful. Okay. Thanks for the cards this week. Let me run through some things to tell you real quick, and then I will switch the um, the phone around. Um, oh, Linda, hello to your retreat. Hello, everybody. I don't know why that makes me nervous. Karen, go Astros. I see you. Um, all right. I don't think I missed anything too important, and then, of course, I lose the comments. Um, so it's the last day of the month. No, it's not the last day of the month. It's the last time I will talk to you in October. So I'm going to give you all the final reminders. Monday is the last day of the month. This month's all-star tutorial is a rustic harvest suite. If you spend $50 with me in October, you get this for free. Um, I sent them last week. I need to send them this week. But if you think you earned this, please reach out to me because emails get lost. I miss people. It happens all the time. This is also available in my PDF store. It has um, 15 projects all featuring the rustic harvest suite. 
really, really fun things in here. Um, that will always be available in my PDF store, but this is the only month you can get it for free. And there's my project that's in there. They're all videos. Next month, I'll show you next month's, next Friday, it features the Sun Prints Suite from the annual catalog. And mine is actually a donut and coffee treat. Brand new, I've never made this before. I like cooked it up in my head and I can't wait to show you guys. So that'll be starting November 1st. That PDF's not available yet. Um, it'll be in my PDF store on November 1st. Um, let's see, okay. I think it's time to switch you guys around. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Yep, I will just switch you guys around. All right, here we go. Okay, you guys. Do, do, do. You get to see my ceiling. All right. So being that it is almost the end of October, so I swear my phone has grown. Suddenly it's not fitting where it's supposed to fit. I'm, I don't know. It feels like it's grown, but I know that's not possible. Okay. Starter kit special will be done on Monday. Starter kit plus is what they're calling it. You get um, $155 in product for only $99. So make sure, I'm gonna turn you guys down just a bit. So make sure if you're interested in the starter kit, let's see, can I zoom in a bit? Oh, look, there we go. Um, if you're interested in the starter kit, the details are on my blog, pinkbiker.com, click the join tab, and it'll give you all the information. Um, oh, we're gonna have an Astros Philly fight during Facebook Live, aren't we? <laughs> Thanks, Nidia, I appreciate it. It's giving me a headache. Oh, there's my New York Yankees fan friend, Antoinette. Um, <laughs> sorry, sorry, not sorry. You'll be cheering us on. Thank you. Um, I will be watching the game by myself. My husband doesn't come back till tomorrow. Um, but he'll be excited. I think game two is tomorrow, right? Tomorrow night. Anyhow, starter kit, $99, $155 of whatever you want. Plus then you get a 20% discount, free shipping on that kit. You join my team, you get my PDFs for free and my class kits at a discount. Plus you'll have early access to the spring catalog um, at the beginning of December. So that's always a big deal. Okay, there's that. Um, old class kits. I added more this week. I'm slowly adding more. I think I was overwhelmed when I thought I had to add all of them at the same time. So now I'm like, you know what, I'll add four or five a week because I have boxes of old kits, you guys, and I'm trying to clear out my storage area. And so I'm selling old leftover class kits. The reason I have leftover class kits is because I make extras in case the kits get lost or damaged. It's someone who's purchased it during the registration period. If they don't get it, I have an extra one to send them. So then they sit in a box and they wait for a new home for me to sell it year, year two later. So that's why I have extras. Um, I added in several, including um, cactus, Cactus, I can't remember the name of it now. This was actually a fundraiser. I can't remember what the name of this was. It doesn't say on there. Anyway, it's it's listed there on my um, on my blog. I'll show you where in just a second. Easter Treats 2020. That old candy is gonna have to be thrown away though, unfortunately. <laughs> That's from 2020. Um, the, why am I drawing a blank? Um, Seize the Day. That was just from January or February this last year. And then I have a few of the Mixed Up Menagerie um, kits. And I ordered new 2023 calendars for the extra kit. So if you buy that kit, you will have a new calendar. So anyway, there's that. There's a lot more in my store. Let me just show you guys real quick how to find that. They're just going to be there. You can keep checking back. Why am I not getting any? You can keep checking back to see... Um, when I, or I'll try to tell you guys when I, when I add some, but right here at pinkbuckaroo.com, you click shop past class kits, and then it'll show you the ones that I have. Um, they don't have stamps or dies, um, but they'll have everything that you need to, gosh, there's not very many. Why, why? Oh no, there's more. Okay. Felt like there wasn't very many. I'm like, I do still have a lot. So anyway, there they are. Add to your cart. Um, you know, and then I'll mail them to you within a day or two. All right, so that is that. The PDF is included in those two, you guys. 
you obviously are going to get a PDF. All right. Um, Club Create deadline is November 7th. And I do have a few spots available for Club Create. It's a subscription club designed by me. And um, it goes out once a month. It's $39. Has five projects, a video and a PDF. And about $20 of product in your kit each month. Um, if you are interested in subscribing to Club Create beginning in November, you can send me an email and I will send you that link. November's Club Create features the sweet candy canes. Um, I was just working on some of that um, earlier. So if you're interested, send me an email. Um, if you stay in Club Create for six months, you then get uh, $25 in um, product of your choice, like a credit, like a stamp of rewards um, during your six months. So. Um, it's a really good deal. All right. My two Christmas classes are listed. Um, they will ship together if you want both of them. So you only pay shipping once. This is the spruced up class. It's a stamp a stack, which means you're going to stamp 10 cards, 10 Christmas cards. All right. And it has a lot of product in it. Uh, paper, embellishments, ribbon, glimmer paper, uh, 10 cards, 10 envelopes. And then you can get it with a bundle or without the bundle. If you, you need the bundle for sure to make your projects. Um, but that is that. Um, I don't have the prizes in front of me. Of course I didn't. But you can click on today's post at the bottom. There's a picture. You can click on it. It'll take you over there and tell you all the details. Here's the second class. This one was designed by, by my friend Deborah, my friend and my downline. And um, we're both offering both classes because we teamed up together. And this is adorable Christmas Scotty's class. Um, three cards, gift card holder, and a treat bag. And again, like I said, if you want both of them, you can pay shipping once and get them both. All right, so let me put those away. Um, retreat to go is officially sold out, you guys. I don't know if I ha if I told you that last week or if that happened this week, but it's sold out. The PDF is still available in my PDF store if you're interested. All right, this is the Fitting Florets Suite. We're going to use this for Facebook Friday next week. This is this bundle right here will be in the spring catalog, okay? It's called Framed Florets. And Stampin' Up! has released it early. Well, it'll be available in November um, for you guys, for demonstrators. We already had access to it. Another perk for being a demonstrator. But they also brought in a Christmas stamp set and some embellishments to go with it and paper. All right. Um, these three will not be in the spring catalog, but this will be. Um, the framed and festive are great Christmas sentiments. And the paper looks springy. But there's also some Christmas options, right? So lots of green in here. Um, my very favorite, I, look at this. I love that. That's not Christmassy, but it's gorgeous. You can do pink Christmas. I do like that. But look at this one. Love it. So we'll be using this next week for Facebook Friday. I just finished the last project today. I think you guys will like them. Um, so be on the lookout for that release next week. Um, I can't remember. Who can tell me? Is it the first or the third or what next week that this releases? I should know these things, but I don't. I don't know. All right. So that is that. We'll put that up here. We'll put it down here. Um, okay. I'm at the bottom of the pile. Wow. 15 minutes this week. That was pretty fast. Um, if you have never joined me for Facebook Friday before, we're glad that you're here. I do this every Friday, almost every Friday. I will be missing a Friday or two coming up, but majority of Fridays every week at two o'clock central. Um, I pick one product and now I've lost it. There it is. Um, and we make three projects with it. Then over at my, on my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, there is a free PDF. It'll have the complete supply list as well as any of the measurements that you'll need for your cards. Then look, here are all the things that I just talked about, the links and everything. It's all, you know, organized for you in one place. Now, also another option is if you like the projects, you like the make and takes and you would like for me to send them to you as a kit, I will do that for free um, with an online order between now and Monday and midnight, Monday and Monday and midnight. I can't talk today. Um, between today and Monday and midnight. There we go. Um, 
35, your order has to be at least $35 using this host code right here. And I will send it, uh, send these out next week. I cut them on Tuesday morning. They come with everything that you need, except for the, the stamps and the dies. I don't do any pre-stamping. And there is one little asterisk on this week's projects, and I'll tell you um, why. There's one other thing that you'll need. Um, or, you know, you can always substitute whatever you have if you don't, if you put in an order and you're like, I don't have that stamp set. Well, then just use the supplies to make a different card. You know, it's still a fun little kit. So that is that. You'll have to put your orders in Monday by midnight. Um, okay, I'll tell you that in a minute. So door prizes. I picked two winners, two people who shared the video last week. Julie and Rochelle, I do believe I have both of your mailing addresses. Thank you so much for sharing the video. I will get your prizes out to you next week. This week's prize is a bundle, just one. Fond of Autumn, look familiar? We used this just the other day um, for Facebook Friday and it's one of my faves. It did not even catch my attention in the catalog the first time, the first 10 times. And uh, then I saw people using it. It's one of those, you know, I'm like, oh, I love it. So it's one of my favorites. So I'll give it away next week to one person who shares either on Facebook or YouTube. Just make sure you leave a comment letting me know that you shared. All right, so everybody's confirmed. Fitting Florets comes out November 1st, so that's Tuesday. So if you're dying to order that adorable paper, it'll be on Tuesday. Okay, so that's that. I think we're ready to get started. I'm distracted by what's happening out in my cul-de-sac. I need to close the blinds. There's not really anything major. I'm just, there's a lot like people coming home. So I don't know, I'm distracted. Okay, I think we're ready. Let me get a drink, hold on. All right, this first card is a fall card. You guys know that I love pumpkins almost more than anything. Fall is my favorite season. I like to buy pumpkins, I love to decorate with pumpkins. I love it. So I had to make a fall card that had pumpkins. Now, we don't have a little tiny pumpkin die right now. You might in your stash, because we've had them in the past, but I try to only use products that are currently available. So I looked through my dies and I thought, what can I use? And I decided to use the little tiny apple <laughs> from the full, bas full basket dies. That doesn't sound right. Is that right? Full basket? Yeah, full basket dies, okay? So I am gonna send you everything you need this week except for these tiny little pieces. I We did this card at my team meeting and it took me three episodes of The Crown to cut all of those tiny pieces out. <laughs> And I don't have time next week to do that. So I will send you the cardstock and you can um, use whatever you have to cut them out um, or just leave them off your project, okay? All right, so that's my little caveat. Usually I die cut everything for you, but I just, there's no way I can swing that this week. It's a lot. All right, let's do our stamping first. Let me see where my paper is. I am using my Stamparatus because, well, I love my Stamparatus. Why is that not laying down? And I can stamp all three of the things that I need to stamp. I can stamp them all at once, okay? Whoa, that was like a magnetic field right there. If you put those magnets together, they either snap together so hard, they take a bit of your finger. <laughs> <laughs> or they completely repel. It's, it's very weird. All right, we're gonna need the door, which I already have set up right here. Okay, is my paper in the right place? Yep. And then I'm gonna do the present, the stack of presents. And I have them on this other plate. And then we'll do the little hands having coffee. All right, so you can lay them down on your paper, pick up your plate. Let's see if that is gonna be perfect. I wanted to hold that paper down. All right, so that is situated and we're gonna stamp this in memento black. Thanks, Terry. I got my nails done this morning. It wasn't time to get them done. You know, I try to go at least two, two and a half weeks, sometimes three if I can stretch it, but I hated what I got done last time, hated it. The lady, when I went to vote yesterday or day before yesterday, made fun of my nails, so I knew that I needed to get them done. 
and one had broken you know it was one of those like get these off i need something new so they're fresh you know they look good when they're fresh all right i was trying to go with like a reddish orangish and i got there early so i had too much time and then i picked like eight colors and i couldn't decide which one i really wanted but I, i'm happy so this didn't stamp very well we're gonna lay it back down and hope that now it's stamped all right we've got the door we've got the clinking cups and the present let's see we're gonna use so saffron pumpkin pie we've got petal pink for the hands and uh, I don't know why I have smoky slate here I think that's for another project and then crumb cake um let's start with the cute little stacked up present we are only if you see the card we're only going to be able to see the top two presents oh you know what i'm getting my glasses just hold on a second because yesterday i tried to color this for the the individual recording you guys and i could not see the lines all right so we're gonna just color the top two presents all right let's see oh my eyes they are just, I'm gonna have to start wearing these glasses like all the time. Oops, I just did two lines. Oh well. While we have this open, let's um, color in one of our mugs and her sleeve over here. I, this stamp set has the cutest little accessories. Um, you can add things to your door, um, like the number, the house number. You can do, there's like a welcome mat. There's so many things. And if you guys saw yesterday, if you saw my blog post yesterday, I added a wreath to the door. So it's like playing with dollhouse. I always say that with these little stamp sets that have all these cute little accessories. I feel like I'm playing dollhouse. All right, we'll do this right here. So saffron. And we're gonna do petal pink. Use whatever color you want. You know, I think we always gravitate to whatever color our own, close to our own skin tone. I don't know, that's what I do for some reason. But you guys use whatever you want to color the hands. I feel like I'm talking to myself. Come on, Facebook, show me the, com the comments. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Oh, it just arrived today, Lori. Well, I'm gonna give you lots of ways to use it. Okay, now the door. For the third project today, I'm gonna to show you how you can stamp it on colored cardstock if you don't wanna color it. But we're gonna color just part of it. These three squares right here, we're gonna add some color and then we're gonna add a little bit of shading, not complicated shading, but I'm just gonna show you how you can add a little bit of dark to give it some dimension. All right, so that is um, light. So I'm gonna, now I'm gonna take my dark, okay? And I'm just gonna add a line to the top and to the bottom. And then I'm just gonna kind of blend that out like that. Okay, see how it kind of just gives it some dimension? We're gonna do the same thing to the other two squares. And I'm using the brush tip, which I never use, but it covers a lot of area quickly, so. That's what I'm doing. Um, last week I told you guys my husband had left for his big hunting adventure in Montana, back country. He's been, I mean, he has talked nonstop about this trip for a year. And they were gonna camp out on the mountain for nine days. They had everything they needed on their backs. They were training, they practiced, they did all, I mean, they were like little kids. Well, the first night they spent the night out there and it rained all night. And the next day it turned to snow and it snowed and it snowed and it snowed and it was windy and it snowed and it snowed and it snowed and they went in town and got a hotel. <laughs> and they ended up spending every night in the hotel. So, they did a little bit of glamping, like we talked about last week. Um, unfortunately, I think the weather really put a damper on things for them. See how I added that line right there? Um, they didn't complain and they loved it, but it was very um, physically difficult. You know, hiking those mountains 
in at times 14 inches of snow is difficult. At the time that I talked to my husband yesterday, he had not gotten anything and he comes back tomorrow. So I'm really sad for him. Um, he said they saw lots and lots and lots of deer. Um, all the other guys he's with each got a deer, but he did not. Um, my husband also is always wants everybody else to succeed. So he's always like, you, you know, you shoot it, you, you hook the fish or whatever. So I have a feeling that's probably what happened, but I feel kind of bad for him. He said also it's elk season, which is what they were really going for. And, uh, the only elk they saw were always on private land. It's like the elk knew where the boundaries were. <laughs> so, but I heard words come out of his mouth that I've never heard ever in my entire life of knowing him. He said, I'm kind of tired of hunting. <laughs> he said that day before yesterday and my head exploded because this man lives to hunt and fish. But I think he's just exhausted. I'm sure that he did not really mean that. Well, I just dropped a die. But so I just thought I would update you guys in the hunting adventures. I know he's going to be sad when he comes home tomorrow. He actually said, you know, he's had a wonderful time, blah, blah, blah. You know, all that. But still, nine days away from your family. You kind of hope to come home with something. The guy who drove up there, one of the guys local here, drove his truck up there. And the th three, two days ago, his truck started having trouble. Like the brakes were going out. <laughs> So then they had to go rent a truck. It's been just kind of, you know, one of those one thing after the other type deals. But no, he did not get a deer. He did not. Well, and I haven't talked to him today. Today was the last day. Um, Darcy, so he flew into, um, oh, what's the bigger city? Um, Bozeman. And they drove towards Ennis and then past Ennis. But then yesterday they came back to Bozeman and went east. So, I mean, that's all I know. That's all I know. All right, thick white card base. Here we are with our gingham paper again. Are you guys tired of the gingham yet? I'm not. <laughs> Sorry, I'll never be tired of the gingham. Um, a piece of craft that I embossed ahead of time with our timber embossing folder. And we're going to put that across. Um, yes, Shannon, Bambi wrecked a lot of us, I know. I hear you. My brother, there's a Bambi story. My brother was little too, but now he's like a huge hunter. So obviously it did not affect him. Um, another piece of craft right here. We're going to put it towards on kind of the left side of the card. And then we're going to take our door. Now the dies, let me show you. This die right here fits in that door perfectly. So you can, you don't have to measure your paper. You can just use that die to cut out whatever paper you want to go inside. Right there. Um, <laughs> Terry, you know what? I've actually shown her a picture of gingham nails and she told me it was a sticker. She was like, she had zero interest in doing gingham nails. Yeah. And one time she tried to do a little like a and it was it wasn't good so i have not asked her again she but i did order some gingham stickers and i kept saying i was going to put one on one of my nails maybe i'll do that next week you know you can you know there's lots of the sticker nail companies all right so we're going to do this with dimensionals right here all right now i this little cute little stitched rectangle is actually from this set. It looks like it's from the stitch rectangles, but it's not. Um, it's actually in the sets designed to look like, um, you know, oh, that's crooked. It's designed to look like, let's try that again. You know, like a little sign. There we go. Um, so that is that, and I'm using that stamp is from last week, the one we used last week, Hello Harvest. Or no, uh, yes, Hello Harvest, but it says, uh, you are such a blessing. I wanted something fallish. All right, so let's start with our little sign. Actually, no, let's start with our little presents. I'm gonna have to take those dimensionals off. 
Remember, I left the bottom one just blank, or not colored in, because we're not using it. And let's take these off, because we're gonna just adhere this right across there. Okay, like that. All right, now for our, let's put this on too, because I'm afraid I'm gonna lose it. The little clinking cups. I will say I enjoyed the quiet this week. I love my husband and I missed him, but you know, sometimes a little quiet is not a bad thing. <laughs> All right, these are our little apple pumpkins, okay? Come on, Facebook. Um, picture of your, you know what, Gail, she says, don't forget to show us a picture of your pumpkin display outside. I took a picture and I didn't share it. I'll do that later today. I did take a picture for you guys. And Amanda says, elk is so good. I've not had elk I am not a big meat eater. I don't know. I have kind of an aversion. I get, I can't eat anything on the bone. I'm really weird, which is sad because my husband, you know, is like Mr. Hunting Hunter. He wants, we have a whole freezer of weird pieces of meat. <laughs> but I, I, I'm just, if I don't know. I'm, I'm weird like that. I've always been like that. Okay, so I've got two pumpkin pie colored apples slash pumpkins. I'm going to take, I have also cut out the, if you guys can see, the little tiny stem. See how it has a leaf stuck to it? All right, we're going to stick that on like that. Um, this again, if you didn't hear me at the beginning, this is from the full basket dies. Your take your pick tool is going to be your best friend when you're trying to do this because these pieces are itty bitty. Now I've also cut out that same stem and leaf. Oh, stay there, please. From Mossy <laughs> Meadow. Okay. Let me get this. Really, your take your pick tool is just going to be your best friend. All right, because you can just pick that up. And lay that down. And then I feel like a surgeon. Take your scissors and let go. Okay. All right. We're going to do the other one. Pick it up. Let's see. One side has texture on it. This die also embosses. It gives it some texture. All right. Then I flip it around, wiggle it, and there we go. Okay. So can you guys see? Pretend like you don't see that I use too much glue. And we're going to say they're pumpkins now. They are not apples. They are pumpkins. All right. Now we are going to stack these babies up with some dimensionals. Let's see. Is that too big? No. We're going to put one right up here like that. And then we'll take the other one. If I didn't glue it to the grid paper, and we'll just put it kind of over here like that. And then I've cut out a bunch of soft suede leaves. And we're just going to kind of tuck these behind, make it look fall-ish. There we go. Yesterday, my youngest had a project due. She's taking Spanish. And they had to make a Dia de los Muertes, Day of the Dead, I probably said it wrong, um, display. They had to make like a little, they had to decorate a tissue box. So she picked Queen Elizabeth, which I thought was kind of funny. I said, isn't this for Spanish? And she said, yeah, but we could pick anybody who's dead. I'm like, okay. So she picked Queen Elizabeth and her little buddy, Carter, who lives, you know, next door, her best friend. They decided to wait until 7.30 last night to make their projects. 
So you can imagine what my kitchen looked like at 9.30 last night. Stampin' Up! paper everywhere. They were making 3D marigolds. See all those cute little leaves? Put as many leaves as you want. Um, they used, um, she used Pacific Point and Real Red to make her British flag. <laughs> oh, they, she said, can I use your good markers? And I said, nope, <laughs> you cannot. Because you don't need good markers for this. You can use regular markers. They know good stuff. They know. Okay, we have two more accessories for this. We're going to take linen thread. I can't remember who Carter, who did Carter pick? Now I can't remember who was on his float. I really wasn't paying attention to his. I helped him cover his box and made his marigold for him. But I do not remember who he had picked. Okay, a little bit of linen thread right there. And this stamp set and die have doorknobs. Um, there's a doorknob stamp and there's several little, like that's for a circle doorknob. I think that one is too, unless, unless I have a random die here, I don't know. <laughs> and then this one's like a big handle. But you know what, since I just did all that work for the little pumpkins, I'm just gonna use a gold, uh, brushed metallic adhesive back dot. Do something simple. And there you have it. I don't know, do they look like pumpkins or do they look like orange apples, you guys? <laughs> don't be honest with me. Just tell me they look like pumpkins, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. You guys are sweet. All right, let's move on. Let me get this stuff out of here. And we're gonna, the next card is super simple. The next card I made, you know, I always make recordings of these for you guys to have on YouTube, to have access to, easier access. The next video was less than five minutes. It's so much easier than this. Hi, Carla, thank you. All right, we'll move that out of the way. Next up is Christmas. And I will tell you, when I sat down to work on these projects, I went to Pinterest and I typed in cute door or pretty door display, Christmas door, and just images of people's front porches came up. So there was um, one that came up that had a red door with like a Christmas tree on the side. And I was like, yes, that's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna do. So this die set has a door option, which is this right here. And if you guys saw, hold on, let me grab it. This card from yesterday, I used the door as a panel to make a larger door. So you can see here, the door will make a little door. Okay, so you have, you have several options to make a door with this set. Now, this stamp set doesn't have a Christmas saying, so I pulled out Christmas banners. And that is the only stamping we'll be doing for this, this card. I think this card would be easy enough to mass produce. I mean, there's, there's some die cutting involved. Um, I wanted a Christmas tree over on the side and I looked through all of my current dies, you guys, and could not find just, I don't know. I mean, we have some little like greenery trees, but nothing that was quite right for this. So I'm gonna use two like branches from the Christmas banners. All right, tis the season. Real red, memento black. Um, we're gonna cut that out. This is the Christmas banners bundle. I haven't used it yet, but well, today's the first time and I love it. All right, I'm gonna use the small little baby cut and emboss machine. I love banners. So when we have banner dies, I get very happy. All right. There we have our banner. That's I've done all the other die cutting ahead of time. So let's bring it all over. More gingham. You guys just, I mean, I'm just going to use the gingham until it's gone. 
Uh, I'm all out of the yellow. I've used way too much of the So Saffron gingham. So I can't use that anymore for any kind of to-go projects because I have none of that stuff left. And I've ordered probably six packs of that paper. I've used so much of it. All right, little four by five and a fourth inch piece of that black and white. This is from the Sweetest Christmas, you know, the candy cane paper. Little one and a half inch strip across there. Now I have a stitched rectangle and we're gonna add a little strip of craft to the bottom just to kind of, kind of to give us a baseline for our door. I don't like the door just floating around in space. It needs to have a, like a front porch step or something. Okay. Um, then we've got our little red door. Hello. Gosh, so pretty. I would love to have a red door. Do any of you have a funky colored door like turquoise or that's really popular. I have, my door has glass, all, you know, like and wrought iron, so I can't paint it, but I would love to do red. All right, now I've cut out a, dis, uh, not a distressed, a brushed metallic, that's the word I'm looking for, gold door knocker gold looks very good on this card and then we'll also again we will use our little gold brushed metallic adhesive back dot okay now i cheated okay you guys i cheated again like i told you in the first project i don't want to use any dyes that you can't purchase right but i had to today and this one was just available last month and I used it during Facebook Friday. So if you didn't buy it then, you're gonna be sorry because now I'm gonna use it. <laughs> remember from, I can't even remember the name. Gosh, I had already, it's already like out one ear, in one ear and out the other. The um, Christmas tree set from the annual catalog that had the matching dice, trimming the tree. This is the little planter, okay? And so I'm using that in um, the distressed gold paper. It it doesn't, honestly, it doesn't show very much here. So really, you could just cut like a square of gold and put it there. Because look, really, that's all you're going to see. Okay, so um, Yvonne, you have a red kitchen pantry door. Now that's a thought. Huh, my new house will have a big pantry and a pantry door that I could do that too. I think I'm going to do that. I love pantry doors that are you know different that is a great idea all right so these are garden green these were cut from the um, Christmas banners you could use any Christmas tree type die you want this is all that I could come up with I'm gonna put my little banner across with dimensionals of course right there and see you only see a tiny bit of that all right and then we're gonna put it on our card and we're done I told you it was easy really easy and fast there's quite a few die cuts here <laughs> but I will cut those out for you guys for your kits those I think won't take me too terribly long the thing about those little pumpkins and the little stems and the leaves are they're so tiny and I just, it was hard for me to even, I would like lose them and they, you know, when you have to cut out a hundred of them, <laughs> it's not fun. All right, you guys, that's an easy one, right? We did kind of a um, tedious one. Next, we did an easy one. Tedious to easy. All right, let's see. Um, what am I missing? Plentiful, plentiful plants. Does it, is it still in the annual catalog? <laughs> I can't remember. You're right, though. It has a planter. Maybe it's too big. Oh, uh, Patty, an old porch screen door in your pantry would be super cute. Um, Have you seen, like, when people go buy antiqued doors and put them in their pantry and they have, like, that frosted glass? I love that. Okay, last project. Let's see. I need to move this out of the way. I need to get one more drink of Diet Coke. Hold, please. You know what? I just so happen, 
right here, sitting right here is a card with a plentiful plant. I think it's too big, but you could cut it down, right? Good. But again, you know, it's only showing that little bottom corner. So I think if you just put a little, you know, a little rectangle or square of distressed gold, you'll be fine. But you should have bought the dyes when they were available. I told you guys. <laughs> all right. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be all snarky with my told you so's. Oh, why is this here? That is for later. Okay. My last card. This is another one we did at our team meeting um, earlier in the month. Look how cute that stamp is. So this set, the stamp set, I mean, it has so many things. And I have the second card. Where did it go? Is it in the stack? This was my original right here. But then I decided we needed a cat. Because, I mean, if you've got a cat stamp, you got to use it, right? Very cute. Look at all the different words. Look at the little shoes for a baby. I mean, the possibilities are endless. All right, we are gonna stamp. Where did it go? Right here. We're gonna stamp the door, just the door. We don't need the other stuff. I'm just gonna leave them on there for now. And stamp that. What am I doing? Guys, you didn't tell me. It's not on white. All right. So there we have a white door for later. <laughs> and now we'll do a gray door, which is what we're using for this card. Woo. Did you see the violence from those magnets? It's violent, I tell you, when they snap together. I'll save that white door for another card. Okay, you guys, you have to get along. Come on. Don't embarrass me. Okay, move. You move. You you guys, just do what you're supposed to do, please. Behave. Okay, there. Now, we have a, and I don't like the way that looks. I need to ink that again. I think I'm distracted by that. So we're throwing that away, so don't worry. Let's try it again. Did the paper move? I don't know. We'll see. It did not. There. Now, that's much better. Okay. That white paper that I used, <laughs> that white paper, we're gonna use the other side for what it's really intended for, which is these. These cute, the flowers and the kitty. Little kitty cat. Did you guys watch the Today Show today? They had little kitties on there. The kittens were so cute. She had one that had a black, like a giant black spot on his nose and he was cute. I don't have cats. There's people in my house that are allergic, but very cute. Yvonne, um, she says, I don't dare use my two magnets at the same time. You know, when the, I'm using Flirty Flamingo, by the way, you guys, light. When the Stamparatus came out, that was a big thing because the magnets are super strong to hold your paper. And people were saying that, and it probably has happened to many of you, when the magnets snap together, they would break because they're so strong. Um, so uh, somebody came up with a solution of putting um, duct tape on them and it does help. It doesn't keep them from slamming together like that. But in my experience, knock on fake wood, um, it has kept them from shattering and it helps pull them apart too. All right, now I'm doing a few in dark Flirty Flamingo, and then I'm gonna put like a little dot of dark in the middle of each one of the lights. And then why am I having so much trouble with the stripes? Okay, a little dark stripe. And you know what, I know you guys can't see very well on Facebook Live. There are the individual recordings on Facebook that you can watch that'll give you a much better close-up view. All right, we've got Old Olive. We're gonna bring in So Saffron. 
Now that's dark. Let's make it lighter down at the bottom. There we go. We've got to color in her hand. I guess it could be a he, his hand, and then we'll do the, um, Darcy, oh my gosh, did you really, she got a blood blister from those magnets snapping together. I can totally see that happening because they are so strong. Yeah, and it's violent when they snap together. I am sorry about that. Paper crafting is dangerous, you guys. Very dangerous. I had to get physical therapy because I had tennis elbow from die cutting and paper cutting. And that is a true story. I had tennis elbow for nine months. I know, crafting is a physical sport. It is. I tell you, it is. All right, let's cut that off so this will fit into our little mini baby cut and emboss machine. I forgot about this mini and I started using it a couple weeks ago and I was like, why have you been hiding at the bottom of my table? Because you are easy and light and I like you. Um, you know what? We need to add some color to this too. We're going to do that in a second. Because you know how we added shadows to the white door? We're going to add shadows to this door as well. You can use your stamp and blends on colored cardstock. All right, where are my other stamped images? Are you guys going to Halloween parties this weekend? Anybody? No, we're not, but my daughter, my middle one, you know, the middles, middles just, things are more difficult for them. She got invited to a, well, one of her best friends decided to have a costume party tonight. They were going to carve pumpkins. She's so excited. She's going to spend the night. We bought a pumpkin. She texted me literally like at noon and said she canceled the party. And I said, what? Why? And she said, because it was stressing her out. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't know that was an option. You can just cancel something because it's stressing you out. So now she's going to be sad when she comes home which probably means I'm gonna have to carve a pumpkin with her. <laughs> I hate carving pumpkins. That is Ted's job. He needs to come home and carve pumpkins. He's the pumpkin carver. I did a terrible job with our kitty. Man, it slipped. Well, we're gonna go with it because it's live. If it wasn't live, I would totally redo it. All right, let me show you on your colored cardstock. I start with the light stamp and blend color first sometimes it's too light and you can't see it so wait for it to dry because it goes on a lot darker and if you can't see it then use the dark color but the smoky slate blends light blend works perfectly on the smoky slate cardstock Rita, I'm going to find a bar with a free drink if you come in costume. And my husband and I are going as Ted Lasso oh, ooh, Ted Lasso and Rebecca that's fun I love Ted Lasso. That is a fun costume. All right. I have a piece of basic white, four by five and a fourth, embossed with a brick and mortar embossing folder. We're going to put a strip of smoky slate across. Again, I don't like my door just floating around in space. Um, you know, Ashley, you're right. Like a paint palette. It totally could be. She said it looked like a like a compact. Water paints from elementary school. You're totally right now that you're saying that. Or, yeah, I didn't see it either until you said that. Huh. That is funny. You could totally make the colors a little paintbrush. That would be cute. All right, put that door there. I've got a piece of our smoky slate. Where is it gray granite? I don't know. It's, it's smoky slate right there in the middle. And then we've got our little sign here and we're gonna stamp welcome in a flirty flamingo. Let's see if I can get it straight. All right, I'm one for one today. And we're gonna do this. Now, the die set has this long like hanger thing right here. 
And if I put my dimensionals right, no, they're too low, then you can actually, let's, let's do that. Because it's much easier to do it this way. Why are my dimensionals peeling the backs off? Weird. You know, like it's not being, not sticky. All right, so instead of putting them down at the bottom, put them right here. And then that way you don't have to mess with the glue. See, ta-da. All right, we're gonna put that. I think my door is over too far. Can I move it without tearing my paper? Let's see, how many dimensionals did I use? Let's see, okay, careful. That's the only one that's really gonna matter. We'll move that. Careful, careful. Dimensionals, if you roll them, they usually will come off, you know, like without ripping. All right, let's move that. Let's put our sign right there. Our messed up kitty cat. Oh, messed up cat. I'm gonna have to redo that after the video. We'll just put it right there. Well, you can't really tell once it's on there. Okay, then we're gonna get a doorknob. And this I used copper. So I'll use a copper door knob right there. And then, well, hello, we're missing the most important part, the flowers, dimensional, right there. How cute, come on. I mean, who thought of this little set? So cute, I may, Jenny, maybe that's her million dollar stamp set. That's so cute, such a cute idea. Such a cute, cute idea. All right, four dimensionals. Man, I'm getting done early today. And basic white card base, no bow, and there you go. Welcome, that could be for a new neighbor, new coworker, a baby, whatever. Welcome can be used for lots of things. Gray and pink, I like that color combo too. All right, now I have extra um, cards to show you. I try to have extras every time. Um, some of them you guys will recognize because I've shown you before. This is from my downline, June. I believe this was her swap card. She didn't even stamp the door. Look at that. She just die cut it, which I love. Makes it easy. Um, her cat cut out much better than mine. And then look at this. I love the sentiment. My door is always open for you. I think that's really sweet. I like the colors too. Um, Orchid Oasis. Here's another one we did at my team meeting. Little kitty. Um, I added that heart from um, this set, right? Yeah, the heart's from this set. Here's another one we did. There's that door again. A teeny tiny heart right there. And then who sent me this? Deb, Deborah. she sent me this. I've shown you, look, she has some cute die cut um, pumpkins, but she made me a hot pink door and I love it. See, she added the number. So, the dies have the number, so if someone's new, you could, you know, do their new address on there. I think that's really cute. Okay, and that is that, you guys. A fun set. You won't find it in your catalog. It's called Warm Welcome, and I accidentally call it Welcome Home all the time, but it is called <laughs> Warm Welcome. So remember, if you want these three projects sent to you for free, all you have to do is put in an order by Monday at midnight and I will send them to you next week. I cut them on Tuesday and I ship them on Wednesday. Sometimes they go out of day late if I don't have the right supplies, but I think I have everything for these this week. Um, yep, you do, Les. You need to make a new one or one for your uh, cousin's new house. Um, let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Thanks, guys. You're so sweet. You're so good to me. A laptop with three Zoom windows. Michelle, that's cute. It would look like that, right? If you turn it like a laptop with three Zoom windows. Oh my gosh, that does. Wow, you guys are so creative. The gifted and talented group today. All right, <laughs> and make sure you check out the free PDF and let me know if you have any questions. You guys have a great weekend. I will see you next Friday with Fitted Florets. And... Uh, It'll be November already. Oh, that means we have to start Christmas shopping. <laughs> Christmas isn't my favorite, guys. It really is not. All right, you guys. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you next week. Bye.